Hello all of you. Today we are going to start lesson 1. The name of the lesson is Storage and Memory Devices. So let's start with the lesson's name. Storage. Storage means what is the meaning of storage? Meaning of storage is in simple way we can say that storage means to store or to keep the things until they are needed. Then we can see as the definition of storage is a it is a process through which digital data is saved within a data storage devices by means of computing technology. So in this series we are going to learn many topics in the lesson that is data and information, data storage units, memory types of memory, storage devices and computer port also. Now next is memory unit. What is memory unit? Memory unit is a amount of data that can be stored in the storage unit. Now let's start with the topics. First topic is data and information. So data means facts of information. Information means processed data is known as information. We can say data is the collection of raw facts and figures and processed data is called the information. Now, next we will see about the data storage units. Whenever we are measuring anything, definitely we will have some units. Here, whatever data are stored in the computer it also has some units. By means of that units, we can count or we can measure the things, measure the data, whatever is feed into the computer. So, whatever data we enter into the computer, it get converted into a machine code. And computer understands only two states that is on and off. On is represented by 1 and off is represented by 0. And these two, 0 and 1, are called binary digits. Here, many memory sizes are given. Just like 8 bits is equal to 1 byte, 10, 24 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte, 1024 KB is equal to 1 megabyte, 1024 MB is equal to 1 gigabyte, 1024 GB is equal to 1 terabyte. So this way we can measure the memory size also. Next topic is types of memory. There are two types of memory. First, what is memory? Memory I told you where we can store anything. That is only called the memory. Now, there are two types of memory. Internal memory and external memory. Internal memory is also called the primary memory. External memory is also called the secondary memory. Now, again, internal memory is divided into two more types. That is RAM and ROM. External or secondary memory is divided into many type of storage devices. Whatever storage devices we are using, that all are external or secondary devices. We can say secondary memory also. Now, we can see here hard disk, CD, DVD, flash drive, memory card, these all devices we are using to store any type of data. So, these all are called the external or secondary memory. Now, let's see about the internal 
or primary memory it is also called the main memory it is divided into two parts that is ram and rom full form of ram is random access memory and information stored in this memory will be lost when we turn off the computer or power goes off that's why it is also known as volatile memory now next is rom full form of rom is read only memory as its name here we can read only whatever data is stored in this memory it retains the stored information even when the power is switched off it can store large amount of data as compared to the ram it is called the non volatile memory now next is external memory that i told you external or secondary memory is related to all that devices which is storage devices so let's see about some storage devices first is hard disk now hard disk is the main storage device of computer it is made up of collection of disk that is called the bladders and it fixes inside the cpu next is cd full form of cd is compact disk it is an optical storage device it can be used for backup and holding softwares next is dvd that is digital video disc another full form of dvd is digital versatile disc it is used for the data storage with higher video and sound quality storage capacity of dvd varies from 4.7 GB to 17 GB. Next is Blu-ray disc. It is also a storage device and it can store up to 128 GB of data. Next is flash drive. It is popularly known as pen drive and it is most popular data backup device. It can store up to 2 tb of data now next storage device is memory card memory card is a storage medium of portable devices like mobile digital etc now you will think what is portable device so portable device means any device that can easily be carried it is a small form factor of a computing device it is designed to be held and used in the hands a portable device may also be called a hand hand held devices also now our last topic of the lesson is computer ports it is a connection point of a interface between a computer and external or internal devices external port connects external devices internal port connects internal devices external devices means modem printer mouse etc and internal devices means cd rom dvd drive etc hope you are able to understand the lesson now accordingly you have to do the book exercise and you have to give the answer of some questions also first you will do fill in the blanks next you will do multiple choice questions then you will do match the following and finally you will do answer the following questions here you will do this question difference between internal memory and external memory then what is flash drive then write down the features of rom these questions you will do thank you